have. Whew. Y'all not ready for this one. Y'all not ready for this one. My boy, Mr. Lasaldo Tavares, teacups in the building, about to be doing his, uh, Jay, if you can make me host, you turn off my camera, bro. I'm excited right now. You messed me up. Yo, we have my man, teacups, Lou, in the building right now. A lot of people think that just teacups is a trader, right? Lou's just a trader. I'm, I'm going to let you know right now, before he was ever a trader, his name was ringing all throughout the network marketing industry. You see, this isn't this first, this, this guy's first time making Chairman 25 money. This isn't this guy's first time building a big organization. This isn't his first time mentoring people. A lot of the individuals that you heard from on this call were mentored by Mr. Lissado Taberas in previous endeavors, guys. So I'm letting y'all know right now, I'm getting my notepads out. I'm getting ready to take my notes because this man, it don't just come down to trading with this man. Trading is just the tip of the iceberg for this man. When it comes down to building this business, that's where it is that he really thrives. He's on his way to Chairman 50. So get ready, baby. Let's get it, Lou. Talk that talk, bro. Let's go. Let's go, man. I've been waiting all day, man. I've been hitting Matt up and Jason up. I've been waiting all day for this. Do y'all see me? Do y'all see me? Do y'all hear me? Let me know if y'all see me. Y'all hear me? Do y'all hear me? If you know, you know how I get down. You know I give you the real. You know I give it to you uncut. I don't tell you what you want to hear. I tell you what you need to hear. And I'm going to tell you what you need to hear today. We're going to talk about accountability and self-blame. Too many people in this industry, too many people on this call want to blame their upline. Want to blame their upline for everything, for their lack of success. Oh, my upline don't do this. My upline don't do that. First and foremost, I have people hit me in my DM like, listen, I don't like my upline. I want to switch teams. We don't switch teams in here. We don't switch teams in here. You sign who you sign to. All right, so stop blaming your upline for your lack of success. If you're a bum over there, you're gonna be a bum over here. It don't matter, bum carries on. Whether you're a bum in that team, you come to my team, you're gonna be a bum. So don't be in my DM trying to switch teams because we don't do that here, first and foremost. Second of all, stop telling me that your upline don't do no Zooms. Oh, my upline don't do no Zooms. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Let me get the, let me get the chat out the way. Hold up, hold up. Man, I told you I was gonna bring it. Listen, listen, listen. If your upline ain't doing no Zooms, what that means is that you can't do a Zoom, that you can't pick up your fingers, go to Zoom.com, make a free account, and do a Zoom yourself. So if your upline don't do a Zoom, you can't do a Zoom. You can't do a Zoom. And you want success? Oh, but wait, but wait. My upline ain't hosting no meetings. My upline ain't hosting no meetings. He's not doing no, no, no in-home meetings. So you know what? Pick up your phone. Pick up your phone. Call your prospects. Get them together, and you do the home, do the home and meeting. You do the meeting. Why you gotta wait for your upline to do everything? But you want success. But hold on, even better. Hold on. So you telling me? So you telling me? Because everything revolves around your upline. Because your your accountability doesn't revolve around you. Your self blame doesn't revolve around you. So you telling me if your upline this week, this week coming, if your upline don't take a shit, you ain't gonna take a shit this week because your upline ain't taking a shit. That's what you're telling me. If your upright don't brush their teeth this week, you ain't gonna brush your teeth this week. That's what you're telling me. That's what you're telling me, but you wanna be successful. You wanna be successful. Last time I checked, last time I checked, you paid the 235 to get involved. Not your upline. You paid the 235 to get involved. This ain't welfare, people. We're not giving you free food. This ain't welfare, people. This ain't welfare. Now I'm gonna tell you something right now. I need you to write this down. Hold on, hold on. Matt, Matt, I need everybody to write this down right now. I need you to write this down. Listen, people, your upline is here to help you build your business, not build the business for you. Your upline is here to help you build your business, not build the business for you. This ain't welfare. We ain't giving out free food. This ain't welfare, man. Stop blaming your upline. This ain't welfare. Even for welfare, you have to, you have to apply. You have to sign an application for what for the gift free food. So you know what you're gonna do starting after this call? You're gonna sign an application for I am to be successful. And this is how it's gonna go. This is how it's gonna go. On your application for I am to be successful, number one, you're gonna write, I'm going to take action. Number one, I'm going to take action. That's the first thing. Number two on your application, you're gonna write on your I am application to be successful. I'm going to take initiative. Number two, I'm going to take initiative. 
Number two. Number three on your application to be successful I am. You're going to put, I'm going to be self-motivated. I'm going to be self-motivated. Number three. And number four, the most important. You're going to write, I'm going to stop blaming my upline. I'm going to stop blaming my upline. I I am application to be successful. Guys, this ain't welfare. We ain't giving you free food. You know what my first upline did to me in my first network marketing company in 2013? Let me tell you what this guy did to me. Oh, my God. Whoa, you got me sorry. Let me tell you what this guy did to me. You know what this guy did to me? I hosted my first event. I did a barbecue in my backyard in New York City. I had over 70 people at my first hosting event. I bought food. I bought liquor. I bought drinks. He texted me that Saturday morning. Listen, I'm going to be there at 6.30 to set up the presentation, and I'm gonna, we're going to start at 7. I said, cool. I'm at the barbecue. It's 6.40. I text him. He hasn't hit me back all day after that text. Nothing. I call him up. I call him up. I said, yo, bro, it's 6.40. You were supposed to be here at 6.30. The presentation starts at 7. These people are ready. They, they ate. They drank. They hyped. He goes, yo, bro, I'm not going. I said, what? He said, yo, bro, I'm not going. I was like this on the phone. What? What, what you mean you're not? What, I, mean, I spent this money on this. What you mean you're not coming? What you mean you're not, what you mean you're not coming? You know what he told me? He told me two of the realest things I've ever heard in this industry, and I still keep it to this day. Number one, write this down. He told me, Lissado, Lissado, if I die tonight, does your business die with me? He said, Lissado, if I die tonight, does your business die with me? I'm going to say this again for my people who can't hear in the back. He said, Lissado, if I die tonight, does your business die with me? And you know why I was mad? Because he was right. I was mad because he was right. I was fuming, but he was right. And you know what else he told me? Write this down. He said, Lissado, you're either going to sink or swim. You're either going to sink or swim. If you sink, it's because you ain't do the presentation and you postpone all those people in the barbecue. But if you swim, it's because you're going to do the presentation. If you swim, it's because you're going to do the presentation. And what you think I did? People, what you think I did? I swear, baby. I swear and I swear and I swear and I swear, baby. Because I ain't sinking for nobody. I ain't sinking for nobody. A lot of y'all on this call be like, oh, oh, I can't do a presentation because my upline didn't teach me. Oh, because I can't do this because I don't know the slides. What you mean you don't know the slides? You can't read the slides has notes. Read the slides. Because let me tell you something. When I did that presentation, I messed up every slide. But you know what? My guests didn't know what I messed up because my guests didn't know the information. They were just taking it from what I was giving to them. So no matter if you mess up, your guests don't know anyway. Stop sinking. Start swimming. If you're upline, don't host the Zoom this week. Host the Zoom yourself. Stop sinking. Start swimming. If you're upline, don't host an in-home meeting this week. Stop sinking. Start swimming. Host your own event. And if your upline don't know how to trade, and he don't teach you, she don't teach you how to trade, get an IM Academy. Get on Go Live and learn how to trade and stop sinking and start swimming. A lot of y'all sinking out here. Sinking. Y'all sinking out here. Excuses after excuses after excuses. You either gonna sink or swim. It's 2020, we not holding no hands. If I'm trying to pull you up, you're not gonna pull me down because you lazy, because you don't want it, because you gotta blame your upline, because you wanna switch teams. Again, if you was a bum on that team, you're gonna be a bum on my team. That shit carries with you. The bumness carries with you. No matter what team you want, it carries with you. Stop sinking, start swimming. Stop blaming, take action. You know what I want you to do after this call? Do me a favor, this is what I want you to do in this call today, after this call today. I want you to go to the mirror, go to the mirror. Look deep into the mirror, look at the mirror. Focus on the mirror, focus on the mirror that you're looking at. And then when you look at the person that you see on that mirror, that is the person 
You need to blame for your lack of success. The person that you see in that mirror, that's the person you need to blame for your lack of success. Not nobody else. Not nobody else. So what are we gonna do? We're gonna swim. I'm gonna leave you with this. Because I want all the people to get their time. We're gonna swim. We're gonna swim. We're gonna keep swimming. And we're gonna swim. We're gonna swim. And we're gonna swim. We're gonna swim all the way to September 4th as Houston at the IM convention. We're gonna keep swimming. Yo, man, I'm out of here. Ah! y'all y'all wasn't ready i told you you wasn't ready people stop sinking and start swimming. man Woo. oh yo somebody I, get that I, man some oxygen <laughs>